Welcome back. This is a new camera. It's outside. I'm kind of testing it, so I don't know what it's going to look like. If you're new to our channel, that's a garage right there, and we turned it into a house. I'm standing in the new foundation to the new house. So basically, we bought some land, we RV'd around, and this is where we ended up. This is Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to everybody, by the way. Heather's inside doing cookies and whatever she does during Christmas, and I just thought I'd get out of the house because it's going to rain tomorrow, I believe tomorrow or the next day, for like a week. So I want to get out of the house, set the camera up in the foundation to do a little camera stuff for you. We kind of had to put a hole in the backyard because the backyard, we had to put this dirt over there. And well, with Christmas and everything else with the finances, we just like, you know what, we need to take a break and start recouping some money before we start putting more money into this place. Um, we burnt the burnt, we were take, getting the burn pile burnt down because that's really free. It doesn't cost anything to do that and it looks better. So that's kind of where we're at. Heather got some new pots and pans for Christmas. I got a new camera and some clothes. Got this too, check it out guys. This is pretty nice. We got this from the uh, Carhartt, whatever, Oshkosh, where they call them bibs. We got them from, uh, cause I, I need something, I always chainsaw and stuff. And I feel like, I mean, I, you, I, I wear the things around my legs, but sometimes I don't wanna wear those safety things and I just wanna wear a full vest where if I get cut up in the stomach, this can you know take a little bit of a, a slicing from the saw, I guess, I don't know. I don't wanna try it, but it's better than a t-shirt, right? Cause this is like double layer, like super jeans. <laughs> what we're doing is we're uh, dabbling in a few new things for income and uh, we still have the computer business and we're gonna have that forever. That's not gonna go away. Uh, may get a little bit slower because people aren't really using computers, they're using their tablets. So it did slow down a lot for us. That was our main source of income, but we do a little YouTube and we dabbled in something else that I can't really tell you about. It's not illegal. It's far from illegal. It's way of making money. But uh, my, my sister showed me how to do it a lot. And without her showing me this, I wouldn't, I'd have to take classes and, see she shows me in a certain way that I can learn. I have a really funny way of learning. Um, Heather can learn from anything, books, pick up a book and she can just learn it. Someone tells her once and it's in. Me, I'm a super smart guy with business, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hard learner. Um, it, it's hard for me to learn anything. Like I have to say, they have to tell me like 10 times, 10 times over and over to learn anything but I have a lot of drive and that's what a lot of people don't have so the drive outweighs that but once I do learn it it's stuck for life and that's one good thing it's like a long-term memory I have I don't know what it is I don't know I can remember stuff from a long time ago <laughs> but I can't short-term memory I'm good at too it's just picking up on it and just picking up for the first time that's what I struggle with I'm putting a water spigot up front I'm gonna put a water spigot by the wa by those rocks right there I got the free spigot I'm gonna put that there because we're gonna put some Leland Cypress all the way in the front, all the way across. I mean, we're gonna go way across, guys. So it, it, it just keeps going and going and going. Boy, this camera's so nice. I mean, I dealt with a GoPro for so long and it's like, I don't know if the wind's hitting the mic. I think I gotta get one of those puffy things. I don't know. But we'll see when we play it back. I'm just gonna do one take on this and, and see what happens. I'm gonna cut it up, of course, but I mean, we did a couple mess ups. Like we painted the building like twice inside. We didn't have to. We moved a bunch of stuff around to make this happen, to make this house happen. And uh, what's funny is when you build a house, no matter if it's this house, the big house, or the small house, it's still the same amount of permits. It's the same amount of septic tank. It's the same amount of time. It really is the same amount of time because a bigger house really doesn't take that much longer. You still have to wait for all your permits. You still have to get the city water hooked up. You still have to get your tank in, you have to wait for the septic permit, the building permit, you know, and building permit out here, which is really good, it includes electrical, framing, and uh, plumbing, is like all in one, which is kind of cool, and framing, yeah, framing. So it's, it's included all in one. I'm really happy to have a house there, nice and warm, doesn't cost as much in energy to, it's like 100 bucks a month, if that, 70 to 100, and it's pretty cold. It's, it was, I think it's in the 40s now, um, but it was in the 20s last night, so it got pretty cold. We're just um, excited to have good neighbors too. Neighbors are great over here, neighbors are great over there, neighbors are great in the back. But, but a lot of hard work too. So it's not just luck. It's not just luck. Because it's a lot of hard work. We, we spent two years to find this place and I didn't think a place like this existed. There are nicer places. I'd rather be on a hill going the other way, going on the top of the hill. But there's benefits from being down the hill. Not many people can see you, which is cool. So it's like there's a benefit to everything. You got to kind of wait. Life is kind of like a scale. You got to weigh it out. But we didn't think that we'd be this far ahead. Not financially, because financially we, we're not. I mean, we just didn't think we we're gonna be able to do this ourselves like we did the house. I didn't think. My father helped me a little bit. 
Um, Plumber Joe actually helped me a little bit. Plumber Joe helped me more than he thought he did, um, I think. I, I, I just think he's a nice guy. He just, he's out there to help you. He's, I mean, yeah, he charged me, but he has to make a living, you know? Just because someone's your friend, it doesn't mean they shouldn't charge you. I don't expect that, and uh, with anybody. Someone comes here and does any work, they're, I'm gonna pay him. Just like I'd wanna be paid. I wouldn't wanna do work. I don't work for free, I'm sorry. I don't work for free. Um, I'll do a favor here and there, and you know, with neighbors and stuff, because they always return a favor in a different way, which is great. I study every night for two to three hours a night on the economy and what's happening, and interest rates are high, and just things are getting sloppy, and the real estate market's gonna fall apart. I can keep talking forever about that, but let's not talk about that. The whole point is, if you're gonna do what we're doing, I, I would say, Look for a deal. Look for something that's partially done. This way you can finish it. Look, look for a mess. Look for something like, oh, it's a mess, but you can see the, see, see the future. Like we did, we didn't start this from scratch because there was water already here, city water already hooked up. And I just had to run it to the place. And the building was already there, it was blocking a roof. I just had to put a half a roof on because it, it was destroyed. So we had to do a half a roof and we did everything else. Now the block itself and the concrete and everything, and th that would have took a lot more money to do. Of course we paid it and we bought the land, but I don't know, I think we got a good deal. We actually, for this lot, we have three lots here, almost three, a little over three acres, and I think we paid 27,000, but that was with the building. Not finished, just a bare building, block. That was no windows, nothing, just block. No power, nothing. So, we still have the dozer there. Let's talk about the dozer. The dozer's still there. You can hear the gunshots in the back, but that's the dozer right there. Right there, I like having a viewfinder, guys. And uh, that is spo was supposed to be moved to my other lots, but I didn't really want it here for Christmas. I just didn't want to look at it. But it's okay, because we might use that uh, for the backyard, which we're going to use it, but I don't know when. So I don't want it to sit there for another six months until we decide to do that. So I might have them move it. Just because, I don't know, it's an eyesore to me. I, I mean, I want to I wanna make it like we're living here, you know, not like we're just building for five years. So that's why I want to get rid of these piles right here of dirt. The two piles of dirt right here I want to get rid of. So the big thing is, is I'm, I know I'm jumping around here. I have that thing called ADD or AD, whatever it is. And uh, I really think that, find a deal, guys. If you're gonna find a deal, it's, it's better, you're better off to find a deal. And if you're in an RV and you're wondering about an RV situation, like a lot of RVers are watching us saying, Ross, why didn't you get your RV, get your Sprinter van? Well, we're looking, but we have to be very careful because Sprinter vans are expensive. And uh, we're now thinking about getting a bigger pickup truck and uh, doing uh, pulling a trailer, a little small trailer, or a pop-up camper on a truck. But I, I really think a trailer would be nice because a little trailer like a Scamp, they have the bigger Scamps. The biggest Scamp you can get, that'd be really cool um, because they're all fiberglass. You can kind of store them forever and they don't leak. You don't have to maintain them. It's just easy, easy, you know, it's real easy. You put a trailer plate on it, 35 bucks, and that's it. But we need a bigger truck to pull because my S10 can't pull that, I don't think. Well, maybe it could. Probably could for a little while. I guess I can get a little draw tie hitch for that and pull it. I mean, it would be a very, very light trailer. But I want a full-size truck anyways. That's too small. It's doing good. It's a good running truck. I mean, if anybody wants to buy my S10, buy it. I got 3,800 bucks into it. It runs perfect. The only problem is it's a little too small for us. Because I got a new radiator and we changed oil. We did a lot of stuff to it, put tires on it. Actually, I got about 4,000 into it. Heather's been doing good. Her back's been hurting her a little bit, but um, she's doing pretty good otherwise. And uh, this is Christmas, so I'm going to go spend Christmas with the family and probably our neighbors and just chill out for the day. Just want to do a quick, fast update for you. Have a Merry Christmas. We'll see you later, guys.